Hello, my wonderful Taurus Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, and North Node. What up, Taurus, 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 Taurus? If you haven't become part of my collective family, like and subscribe to my channel, okay? Come part of the family so you can understand really what's going on in this 3D, 4D, 5D matrix, okay? Because it's really not a matrix, okay? What they want you to believe that whatever you do, don't come back to you. And guess what? That's a lie. Whatever energy you put out, you will get back. You will get a reply. You'll be like, damn, that's fucked up. I don't even understand how that happened. What type of energy have you been putting out? Whatever energy you put out, you will get back. So pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to what you're doing to others and yourself. Because, baby, the universe will reply back to you. So let's see what we got for the Taurus. We are going to be doing a Celtic cross. And don't forget, whoever do something to you that is not right, they're going to get that ass served. Okay? They're going to get that ass served to them. So don't worry about it. It's called balance for a reason, baby. So Taurus, we're going to do a Celtic cross. Let's see what this Celtic cross has to say for you. We're going to do the light seers. You know, you know, you know. Um... And see what else we got for the Taurus Collective. Spring is upon us. So um, get yourself in order. This should be a good spring slash summer. You know, we're going to be learning new things, enjoying ourselves, enjoying the weather. Somebody can be get, just started a new job. You know, take your time. Enjoy the job. You know, and when you got enough skill under your belt, you can move to another one. You know, keep your own resources, keep your own finances. You will always stay in a stable position because of it. Don't ever look for anybody for financial wealth. Earn your own money. You will be more stable and secure that way. And nobody can't tell you shit. And make sure you ain't got nobody in your energy trying to rob you for your finances. Why you want to stick me for my papers is what I hear. Be careful what people trying to rob you for your finances. What we got for the present situation for the Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, and North Node, the Celtic cross. This is the present, what's going on right now. And it came out as an undecided energy. So let's see what it is. Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. The Four of Wands talks about a relationship. It should be a committed relationship or your stability, a home, enjoying a new home, moving. Somebody might not be sure if they should move in with somebody, if it was a good idea. But whatever the stability is, this Four of Wands should be stable, should be successful, should be good. Tell me about the problem. So I'm going to take this as an undecided energy because somebody's not sure of this four wands. And that's okay. Take your time. Okay? Because with time comes clarity. Tell me about the problem for the Taurus. Tell me about the problem. What could be the problem for the Taurus community? Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, and north, no. Okay? Or wherever you have Taurus in your chart. Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. We call the Nine of Wands the Wounded Warrior. But this person is not wounded at all. This woman on this card, this could be a masculine and it's feminine energy. Balance, baby. This could be a feminine, just in her overall energy. energy balance, baby. She's standing right here looking like she got this fence Covering her as she's holding on to this wand that's lit with not fire, just energy. Fire is energy. But it's not like a flame. It's different. It's different. And she does not look wounded at all. She looks like she's ready for whatever. And she got on sandals. So 
whoever this person is, is doing the nine of wands very nicely, very comfortable. She's looking like, please don't play with me. I am not the one to play with. So somebody got the, I am not the one to play with. We got all wands on the board. Fire energy. Four wands, nine of wands. So whatever this stability is for the problem, somebody is not playing with somebody. Somebody does not play when it comes to their stability. Somebody does not play when it comes to their success, their fire, their inspiration, or their connections. Whatever passion, whatever depth this person has is deep. And somebody is not playing. Tell me about the past for the Taurus Collective. Tell me about the past. Ooh, whatever it was. Whoever this nine of wands is had something to do with, do with the three of swords. The three of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And guess what? This nine of wands person is not playing. They don't even understand why the nine, the three of swords happened. So that was the past. Somebody's undecided why this three of swords even happened to them. They don't know. They don't feel like they deserved it. So whoever caused this nine of wands person, the three of swords, they felt like it was unfair, that it didn't have to be done. And most of the time, a lot of the time, all the time, it doesn't. Tell me about the four, the future. Tell me about the future for the Taurus Collective. Protection, number four. Protection, you got protection. Tell me about the future for the Taurus. Because I said four. Fours are all about protection, breaking out of your, your comfort zone, exploring new things so you can have a better um way of living, the way a better way of seeing things, elevating. Tell me about the future for the Taurus. Knight of Cups in reverse. We got the Knight of Cups in reverse for the future. Stand your ground towards this knight of cups who's trying to act like they're trying to offer you something. This person is not ready for love. This person is very manipulative when it comes to their cups, when it comes to their emotion. So please stand your ground towards this knight of cups. He is not ready for love or she is not ready for love. They can be very manipulative, very cold, very callous. I feel like this, per this person is a puppet master when it comes to their emotions. They like to string people along. Stay away from this Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or somebody just got water placements. We all got water placements. So that's the future. Have your guards up. Don't be playing with this person because this person don't want nothing. Message. Tell me about the conscience. The conscience is what you know. Tell me about the conscience. Whoever this Knight of Cups is, they just want a victory. Knight of Swords. They just want a victory. That's it. And, and, and the victory is so stupid. The victory is so stupid, so childish. They want to see if you still got emotions for them. And the stupid thing is, listen, just because they came in, in your life on some false pretenses, that don't mean you didn't really have feelings for this person. Don't ever let nobody make you feel bad for having feelings, real intentions, real love for them. They are the stupid one. They are the one that's going to lose in the end. They always do. So whoever this person is, is very manipulative. They like to play head games with you. Don't let nobody play with you. They're a joke. Let them be their own joke. Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They like to string people along on, on, the, on the strength of saying they, 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 that you had some type of feelings for them. Okay. Do you have any type of feelings for yourself? Because you're looking real stupid. Tell me about the unconscious. Somebody plays stupid head games. So let, let let you know that this person is not evolving. This person is emotionally and mentally wounded. This person suffered from a lot of traumas. So a lot of people have been playing with this person. So this person goes around playing with you, with other people and makes them feel good. Like they, they successful. 
Yeah, we're going to leave that alone. Tell me about the unconscious mind, please. Tell me about the unconscious. You can have a feeling about something or something hasn't came to the light yet. Tell me about the unconscious for the Taurus. That is the dumbest thing, boy. Sometimes you got to just sit back and just shake your head. You got to shake your head. Tell me about the unconscious. Mm-mm-mm. Child. Whatever this communication is, because I got the eight of wands. Whoever this person is in the Knight of Cups energy is going to want to communicate with you, act like they want something with you. Don't do it. And this can be in the future, near future. Don't bother. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This person is about nothing. Let them continue to be about nothing. Let them play games with somebody else's emotions and their own. So rapid communication and somebody knows that's what's going to happen. Keep it pushing. Don't even, don't even. Mm, I'm just like, mm, don't even entertain this person. You got better things to do. Clearly they don't. This is how they live their life. Let them live their life like this. It's a slippery slope. People like this usually look like they got 40 extra years put on them. So this person could be aging bad. And it's because they're putting out that negative energy out there. Let's just say they, 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 they mind and they soul ain't right. So this person could be aging bad. You're going to see it. You're going to be like, mm-mm. Nah. That's how you know something ain't right. You done gave yourself a hard knock life. Struggling for no reason. So somebody is aging not so good. We gon Karma is what I hear. Karma. Tell me about your influence. Tell me about the Taurus influence. Oh my. Masculine or feminine. You know, we only talking about the energies. Tell me about yes, your influence, the Taurus influence. Let's just say time has caught up with this person tremendously. Tell me about the influence. Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Single, successful, happy. Working on your finances, enjoying life. So your influence, your energy is single, financially stable, working on your finances, just having a good time, enjoying life. Lots of wisdom under your belt. All you worrying about is taking care of yourself and your money. So that's going to be your influence. Your mind is on your money. Your heart is in your pocket. Don't no need it. No, don't nobody need to um handle that. You handling it just fine. Keep your heart in the right spot, protect it. Keep your hand on your money. Keep growing these finances and stay in this good old energy of the nine of pentacles. Tell me about external, outside of you. Tell me about the outside energy. Whatever is outside of you, you can't control. I got the two of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Somebody has a lot going on that's outside of you. It's called none of your business. It's called none of your business. Four, 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 47 on the clock. Like I said, you got protection and whatever good luck you got is protected too. This person is going to have a lot of confusion going on in their life because of how they live their life. That is not your business. Whoever this person is, is used to this type of energy. Let them have it. And whoever this person is, is looking bad. This person looks malnourished. They look aged. Somebody looking like they ain't been in the best shape in a long time. Um, Not your problem. Two of swords, confusion, crows, messages. And it looked like these crows, these messages, whatever they got going on, is 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 haunting them. 
So somebody got these crows, these messages, whatever's going on, haunting them. Because they're not balanced. They're not fair. Tell me about hopes and fears. Tell me about the hopes and fears. Uh, hopes and fears. I got the eight of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Continue investing in yourself. That's somebody's fears. That you're going to continue investing in yourself. Actually reaping the fruits of your labor. Seeing everything that you working for. Show up. Prosperous. So whoever's hopes. This could be your hopes. That whatever you're doing is going to be beautiful. And as the cycles, moon cycles keep going. It's going to be very lucrative. Very rewarding. You are learning new things. Keep investing in yourself. You're going to continue to learn new things. And hold on. That's somebody's fears. Yet again, none of your business. Tell me about the outcome. Tell me about the outcome for the Taurus. The lovers. Gemini energy. Whatever the outcome is, is going to be the lovers. So somebody can't stop what's already written in stone. Whatever this lover's energy is, it's going to happen regardless. It could be with somebody from the past. It could be somebody from the past or you want to feel like you've known this person for a very long time. Whoever this person is could be a Sagittarius. Y'all going to have a great connection, deep connection, spiritual connection. It's just going to be, it's going to feel so freaking good. So good. The way she's holding on him, the way he's looking in her eyes, it's beautiful. This can be masculine and feminine energy or feminine and feminine energy or masculine and masculine, masculine energy. It's all about the energy and the connection. Bottom of the deck, four pinnacles. Somebody's going to be holding on to whatever this new cycle is. Somebody's going to be holding on. There's a new cycle. Whatever this new cycle can involve a king of swords, an older person, more mature, who knows what they want, very, very fair, very wise, sun card. Somebody's going to feel out in the cold, um, continue to stay in your ground because you are balanced. Somebody is going to have sleepless nights because of whatever reason, whatever energy they put out there. They're going to have sleepless nights. And guess what? It is not your problem. I got to keep saying that because a lot of times we start feeling bad for somebody because of, you know, we don't want to see people doing bad or hurt. But you got to remember, we can't control what they put out there. You don't know how many times or how many people this person has did that to. Sometimes you got to let a person receive their karma. So let this person receive their karma and make sure you're not receiving it with them from trying to help them. Don't be a martyr. So let's see, let, let's see what we got going on. Let this person do what they got to do. It is none of your business. Tell me. Oh, hold on. I always shuffle my cards before my readings. It makes it better for time purposes. But I, I'll shuffle it one more time for you so you can know, you know. We're going to get some love oracle messages to see what's going on. Tell me about the present situation, the four of wands. Tell me about the four of wands for this present situation. Whatever this present situation is, the, the card says, I am obsessed with you. They are, they are obsessed with you. Whoever this lover is from the past, this Gemini energy, they are obsessed with you. That's what they say. Tell me about the problem, the nine of wands. Tell me about the problem for the nine of wands. This person said they obsessed with you. You must have been a good old vibe. You must have been great energy for this person because whoever this person is, they ain't never felt like this before. And whatever this love was, this connection, it was very healing. 
And the nine of wands says, people don't believe in me. People don't believe in me. It doesn't matter who believes in you. As long as you believe in yourself, you're all the way up. All you got to do is believe in yourself and you're all the way up. It only takes you. That's how easy that is. And anybody who don't believe in you, so what? Let's hope they believe in themselves and that's what they focus on. Because people try to beat you down by making you feel like they don't believe in you. They be believing in you, they just don't want you to believe in you. Message, tell me about the past for this Three of Swords. Whoever this person is, they don't even know why they caused you the Three of Swords. You don't even know why they caused you the Three of Swords. And it was because somebody was in this Knight of Cups energy. They, they, they should have been invested in themselves, invested into the relationship. They don't know who they are anymore. It says, I don't know who I am anymore. Because of this three of swords, a person, somebody didn't know who they were. They didn't peg themselves as this person to be in the three of swords energy with, with, with different people. They didn't peg themselves to be like this, or you didn't. It made somebody not realize who they were anymore. So that means somebody was in this energy for a very long time. Tell me about the future for the Knight of Cups in reverse. The future for the Knight of Cups in reverse. Don't wait for me, please. That's noble. Whoever this person was in the Knight of Cups energy... Manipulative, not nice, faking, acting like they wanted something with you and said, don't wait for me. Say, don't worry, I'm not. We hope you find yourself and heal yourself so you can know what real love is for yourself. They said, don't wait for me. Don't worry about it. I will not. Tell me about the conscience, the night of swords, something you know. Somebody wanted the victory. Maybe you left because you wanted the victory. You said, I got to get the fuck up out of here. This is not what I expected. Somebody was trying to get the hell up out of here. Why can't I tell you the truth? Somebody couldn't tell you the truth about how they felt about you, really. So they ran. They felt like they had better choices, a vet, better victory somewhere else. So they ran because they wasn't able to be honest with you. Um. Oh, well. You know, you want somebody who knows how to communicate. You know, you want somebody who knows how to communicate when things get rough. That lets you know how they give a crap about you and yourself and you and themselves and the relationship. Communication is always key. Telling somebody how you feel, what you deserve, what you want, where you see your relationship going, where you see yourself going. Communication is key. It is, it is healing for you and them. So somebody couldn't communicate. Tell me about the unconscious, this eight of wands. Tell me about this communication, this eight of wands. Somebody was scared of rejection. Somebody was scared of rejection. And they see you single and abundant, working on yourself, doing what you got to do, staying happy. Somebody felt like because you was in this nine of pentacles energy that th you was going to reject them. So somebody didn't have faith in themselves. Somebody didn't feel like they was enough for you. They got to feel that they got to figure that out. Because they're going to always feel like something is not enough for them. Something is not right for them because they don't feel like they deserve it. So they're going to keep recreating this pattern of running away because they, they're scared of rejection if somebody feels like or looks like they're too good for them. Somebody thought they were too good for you. That's, that's a personal problem. Tell me about your influence, the nine of pentacles. Tell me about the influence for the nine of pentacles, please. I can't stop thinking about you. So regardless if they felt like you was going to reject them and they were scared of rejection, they felt that they you were too good for them, they still can't stop thinking about you. 
maybe this person understands that they're the ones who need healing. They're the ones who need healing. Because if they, they don't heal, they're not going to be good for you. They're not going to be good for themselves. Sometimes you come into people's lives as a lesson and a blessing. To let them know that they deserve more and whatever they're doing is not good. And you got to know when you are that lesson and that blessing and keep, keep moving forward. Don't stay stuck or stagnant for anybody because that's not real love. When you show a person that you know how to move on from things that don't work out, you let them know that they can do it too. That they got the strength to move on because clearly you love this person. You had deep feelings for them. And you still kept, you kept going. Tell me about the two of swords, external influence. Will this ever change? This confusing. Somebody had too much confusion going on and they want to know, will this ever change? That depends on you. Confusion is based on fear of what you've been through, thinking that somebody is always going to harm you. Something is always going to go wrong, or you are always going to harm somebody else, or you're not ready for whatever you feel like or whatever you thought you was ready for. That confusion starts inside of you. That means you don't feel safe in making decisions. That means you don't feel safe with yourself. When you feel safe with yourself, that all goes away because you know of anything that happens that's bad, you got the strength to get up and walk away so things don't go further down the fucking shithole. So somebody didn't feel comfortable with making decisions. Somebody didn't feel like they could protect themselves just in case something went wrong. They didn't trust themselves. So that means they didn't give themselves a chance. Tell me about the eight of pentacles for hopes and fears. Working on yourself, seeing what you're building, sitting comfortable. Somebody could be moving to a, another place, somewhere else. No one understands me but you. I feel like whoever this person was, you put work into them. You wanted to understand them. You wanted to get to know them and understanding them became easy. That's how you know you had a good connection with them. But just because you have a good connection with them, you got to make sure this person has a connection with themselves. Certain things just come easy to certain people when it, come, when it comes to certain people. It's just what it is. It's just not, it's, it's not rocket science. Some connections be meant to connect. Somebody knew the reason why they were in this relationship or whatever this was and they wanted to make it work and they put their best foot forward and when it was all said and done, they were happy with what they did, the work they put into it. Because somebody felt like somebody really understood them. Somebody actually seen them. So that made somebody feel like they actually mattered. That's always beautiful, even if it don't work out the way you want it to. Okay, we out here, we out here, and we not going to stop being a good person because we get hurt. We just learn to protect ourselves better. Tell me about the outcome for the, the Gemini, the lovers. Tell us about the outcome for the lovers. I feel lonely. So somebody feels lonely without you. Whatever this deep connection was, this lover's energy, it was good when it was good. But somebody had a lot to, somebody had a lot in their past. Somebody had a lot going on in their mind. But you mattered for the time that you did because they feel lonely. And I hope this person understand that you can't go to people, places, and things looking for somebody to fulfill you. You have to do that for yourself. Because looking for people, places, and things that make you happy will lead to despair, depression, unhappiness, and bad mental health and physical health. Bottom of the deck, I am a man. I am the man. Maybe this is what the problem was. Somebody needed to sit down and really figure out what type of man they really were. 
what they type of man they really was. So let's 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 see what else we have here. What else we got for our wonderful Taurus collective? Like and subscribe, Taurus. Become part of the collective. You know, if you like my vibe only. You know? Dang, that went all the way over there. Whatever it is, it, 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 it was the wheel of fortune in reverse. Somebody's going to have not so good luck. Progress is going to be stopped. Changes. Bad changes. So whoever, somebody is getting bad karma. Somebody's getting bad karma. Because I got the wheel in reverse. Ten. Somebody did things wrong. And somebody paid for that. Somebody paid for that. What else? You can't go around doing good people wrong. Whatever energy you put out, you will get back. Okay? You will get a reply. Probably not from that person you hurt. But for the from the universe, it's not going to go on un untaken care of. What else we got for the Taurus? Six of water. Bottom of the deck, I got ten of water. Family, love, and blessings. Somebody just want, somebody could have did it for a family. For, 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 maybe this person had a family outside of you and you ain't know. But I got the ten of water. Family, love, and blessings. This can be what you got coming towards you. A ten of cups situation. And it could be with somebody for the past. Six of water at the bottom of the deck. This is memories, childhood nostalgia. Somebody you know from the past. Somebody you grew up with. And three of earth. Talent, recognition, and collaboration. Working together. So that's always great energy. So no matter what you've been through and you're a good person, you're always going to get blessed on your journey from being that good person. So don't give up on yourself because somebody gave up on themselves. Continue going forward. Somebody was living between two worlds. Somebody was living in their patterns, ways, and behaviors. And you must have showed somebody something different living between two worlds. So you, you actually opened somebody's life up to some, doing things a different way. Like I said, you was a blessing. Anything else? Mending. Seven. Somebody might want to mend a situation with you. Like I said, y'all must have grew up together. I got two females over here. A friend might want to mend something with you from the past, somebody you grew up with, or whoever this person is might, who was scared of the relationship, of the connection, might want to mend something with you. If I was you, I would keep going forward. Keep going forward. And if somebody is serious about what they have with you, what they felt with you, they will keep going forward too. And if y'all are meant to match up, it's going to happen regardless. So let's see what was going on. What was the T behind the scene that you didn't know? Let's see what this T was behind the scenes that you didn't know. What people got to understand is we all got a pass. And sometimes the pass catch up with you. Somebody's past caught up with them. And I guess I felt like they don't they didn't expect it. They didn't expect things to go this way. They probably didn't expect feeling having these feelings for you. It is what it is. This is probably what they needed to, to set them straight. Tell me what was going on. What was going on? What was going on in this energy? Private relationship. Will this ever change? It was a private relationship. So somebody didn't know that y'all was together. Okay, I got private relationship. So, so somebody didn't know about this connection. This, this connection was a secret. And arguments putting them in their place. So somebody need, is arguing with people, putting them in their place. Because somebody didn't know, people didn't know that this relationship was going on. Or they pretended not to know. What else, Spirit, for the Taurus Collective? Somebody was insecure. 
we said that somebody was insecure and at the bottom of the deck, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. It happens. Somebody had a lot going on. And as you can see, it caught up with them. Things was meant to go that way. Otherwise, it would have never happened. So let's get some ruins for the wonderful Taurus Collective. Let's see what other messages we got for you. From your higher power, from your ancestors, from the powers that be, that be there for you. Then we're going to get these numbers. See what we got hitting for you. What's going on in your energy. What numbers we got for Taurus Collective? What's the numbers we got? I'm going to take, try to take two because, all right. And then let's see what other messages we got. What we got for the wonderful Taurus Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Thank you. Whoever sending you the evil eye, you are protected. I got the evil eye. Whoever sending you the evil eye, you are protected. Let it fly. People who send you the evil eye, it always gets back to them. So we don't worry about things like that. I had a letter in there too. Let's see what letter that is. Maybe it's the person that's sending you the evil eye. I got the letter. What was that? J. I got the letter J. Whoever this person is could be start with a letter J. Somebody sending you the evil eye. I got the healer's hands. You could be a healer. Whoever's trying to send you the evil eye, you are protected. You are a healer. No weapon shall ever form against you as long as you in this good energy and you got your ancestors protecting you. I got the I got the the letter E. I have Leo, you have strength to keep going. You are generous. You are seen in the public eye. Continue doing what you got to do. People do watch you. I got Aquarius energy as a healer, as a star. You know, continue being that healer. Continue being analytical. Continue being logical. Continue making good decisions. And then I got Taurus. Taurus. Being generous, being generous, being protective, being self-sufficient, being strong, paying attention to what you do, what you put out, and what gravitates towards you and your energy. I got the letter three. Focus on the present right here and right now. Whatever you can't change that's outside of your control, let it be. That's going to keep you grounded. That's going to keep you on your purpose. That's going to keep you happy. I got the number eight for abundance. Whatever good energy you are in, you are going to get that in abundance. Stay positive. Stay, stay, stay in the good energy. Stay high vibration. And that doesn't mean that things is not going to affect you. Don't sit in it. Don't soak in it. And if you can't change it, let it be. You got abundance on your side. And now let's see what else we got for the ruins. Abundance on your side. Continue going forward. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody sway you. Don't let nobody shake your foundation. The more you're able to get over things, get past things, the better you're going to be. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got for the Taurus. Taurus. All right, come on. We have monos, manos, M, humanity, mankind, associates with awareness, being aware of the self, knowledge, paying attention to everything that's going on with you and around you is going to bring you a lot of knowledge and wisdom, collective conscience of humanity, what you do to people and what others do to you. The more you pay attention to what energy you put out there to others, you're going to start noticing how they handle you. So you'll know if you got to distance yourself. Sometimes you got to distance yourself from family members, from people that you thought love you. You got to distance yourself. Because sometimes people don't be having the same type of love for you. And it is what it is. 
that has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So whatever you can't control, it's outside of your energy. Focus on you. And let's see what else we got. For my wonderful Taurus. Petro is P. Vessels, cups, love, emotion. Okay? Emotions. It's all about emotions. The vessel, the body, the soul, communication, how you feel, love, change, hidden information. So whatever hidden information, you're going to find out about it. It can come to you in a premonition or you just hear something. Truths and secrets. So you're going to have get whatever truths and secrets is going to be revealed about whatever vessels, whatever emotion, without whatever communication that you need to hear. Petro, the letter P. So those are your runes, okay? So thank you, Taurus. Like and subscribe to my channel and enjoy Thank you, thank you, thank you.